Hi everyone. Welcome back to Rocky's Place. Hey, this month, the month of October, is actually a really big month in regards to awareness for various different um, things that are going on in the world, different conditions. Um, I know the really big one is breast cancer awareness. Everybody by now knows that October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. You've probably seen all this stuff on social media as well as out and about in your town or city uh, for the Susan G. Komen runs in your area. And um, just October just seems to be a, a big month for a, a lot of different um, things to bring awareness to. There's actually a very long list. You can Google it. Actually, I was quite surprised. I didn't even realize there was as many things as there are on there. I mean, you've got, I, I, I'll, I'll have to put a, um, I'll, I'll post something separate on it, but you can Google it if you want to see just how many there are. But I only want to address a few of the most uh, closest to my heart and those that I think are the most prevalent or most important um, to raise awareness and prevention for, um, for here uh, on my page. So October is also, of course, the last uh, quarter of the year. So October seems to be the year or the month and the time of the year where we seem to light a fire under our butts and kick ourselves into high gear to either get back into whatever New Year's resolutions that we had. And I'm really not a, I'm not a really big proponent on New Year's resolutions because I think you shouldn't wait until the end of the year or the start of a new year to start something. I think once you make a decision to make change in your life, do it right then and there. Don't wait. Because chances are you've thought about doing it already at some point and just procrastination um, has prevented you from doing it or self-doubt um, or just life in general, you know, in which case I, I understand all of it because I've, I've been there. I've been that person for every single one of them. So, but October just seems to be the year, the, the time of the year where everybody really just, just, gets kicks that extra gear kicks in plus it's the start of the holiday season so everybody is a little bit more friendly a little bit nicer to each other um i honestly don't, don't see why anybody needs a certain season to be kinder and nicer more giving more loving just just more of all the good positive things anyway we should be that way all year round but you know human nature some people they are how they are so no judgment, I'm just saying, you know, you shouldn't wait until the holiday season to be a better person, to make change, positive changes in your life, to remove anything that's toxic or unhealthy for you or stressing you or bringing you down, draining you. Um, any self blockers that we have, like self-doubt, procrastination, uh, making excuses to ourselves, we've all done it. Come on. I've done it many times. So I know you've done it. So. Uh, but what I really want to talk about on this video, and I'm going to try and make this kind of short and brief, is the various different preventions and awareness. So what those that are closest to my heart and those that I think are the most important is number one, breast cancer awareness. Um, one of my oldest, closest friends has beat breast cancer twice, two times. So Liz, I love you. Um, her mother, she's got uh, aunts and people in her family who have also are also breast cancer survivors. And her mother, Jeannie, I love you so much. She has always been a mentor, what maybe she didn't realize it, but she was a mentor and role model to me. Um, Liz, with what she's gone through, and just a strong woman. <clears throat> I love you so much for that. Also, Bully Prevention uh, Month, and that is also very close to my heart because my goddaughter um, dealt with a lot of bullying. Um, could have been detrimental. I am so thankful to God <clears throat> that it wasn't and that she didn't. Uh, that she's still here today. Let's just put it that way. And I know a few other people and close friends whose children um, are going through it. Teenagers especially are susceptible because as a teenager, I mean, we're so hormonal and we're just even trying to figure out who we are. And you've got the stresses of junior high and high school and peer pressure and then the sports and the parents' ex ex expectations, our own personal expectations. I mean, ugh, I would never ever want to be a teenager again. Never. So, Bully Prevention Month. I have zero tolerance for bullying. Zero. None. None. Zero. I cannot stand for people to bully anyone. And that's not just amongst the teenagers and kids. 
that's in the workforce. I have seen so much bullying in the workforce and I'm not the one. I have been doing what I've been doing for far too long and I know not only my, my legal rights, but just self-respect wise, I don't allow anybody <clears throat> to talk down to me and to bully me. You should neither. I've even had to leave a couple of jobs because it, before sexual harassment and <clears throat> for bullying. So um, anyway, it's my granddaughter in the background. So bullying prevention um, month, ADHD awareness month. Uh, I have a, a very, very close friend of mine, um, a couple of friends actually whose children are um, either ADHD <clears throat> um, and some family members who uh, their family members are ADHD. And so I know that. And then dealing in the healthcare industry with patients, we've had some ADHD patients. So we have ADHD awareness month. It's really important. Learning disability awareness um, for this month. I am on the on on. I'm recording right now. Please wait. Um, it, emotional wellness month. That is extremely important because if we are not emotionally and mentally healthy, nothing else works. I'm so sorry. My daughter's in the background and it's past her nappy time and she didn't want to take a nap, so she's being a little obnoxious. So, um, also depression awareness month. Down Syndrome Awareness Month, and one of, this one, I didn't even aware, I wasn't even aware that this was anything for the month of October. I am talking right now, so bring it over here. Excuse me just a minute, y'all. So anything I do in my life, you know it's real, right? It's real, so if you have children, toddlers at all, you know that they don't care what the heck you're doing. They just want what they want right then and there. So, what, here, take this out then if you want, there. There you go. Sorry, excuse me. <laughs> there you go. She's watching my nook. And she couldn't get the earbuds up. All right, there you go. Can I, thank you. Pick it up. Oh, please don't break it. Please don't break it. Okay. <laughs> please don't break my nook. All right, so back to what I was saying. This last one, Gay and Lesbian History Month. I had no idea that that was even anything for the month of October. Um, I have uh, a few friends who are the LGBT uh, variety of that. And they're awesome people. I lived for quite a while when I was living in San Diego, I lived <clears throat> in the gay community. And even before that, you know, it's, I don't care what your sexual preference is. You know, everybody has the right to love whoever they want, to be loved by whomever they want. So long as you're not a pedophile, you're not a rapist, you're not a, a murderer, um, you're not a, a molester, you're not cruel to the elderly kids or animals. If you're just not cruel in any way and you're not some sociopath, psychopath, um, then who you choose to spend your personal time with, as long as it's consenting and you're both legally adults, um, then that's your business. Okay, so it's, don't even get me started on that. <laughs> but I had no idea that October was also Gay and Lesbian History Month. So that was really cool. That's something I learned new today. It is actually a very long list. Um, and so, you, like I said, you can Google it. If I can attach the document, I will attach the document. I don't know if I can attach it to the video here on YouTube, but I also am going to be posting this to my blog page as well. So if I can attach that document or just copy paste to my blog page, I will. Um, I am also going to put down in the details various different links, contact information, phone numbers for um, these different things that I, I've listed, um, especially for any of the bullying. Oh, and suicide awareness. I apologize for that, but suicide awareness um, for October as well. And that's huge, especially because of the holiday season. It just seems to rise um, the amount of deaths that are suicide related. Uh, especially a lot of our veterans and veterans are very close to my heart. My daddy is a veteran. I'm very patriotic, but for everything that our vets go through, the last thing, they, they should never be homeless. They should never go hungry. Um, they put their lives on the line, so many of them, that they should have the best care for the rest of their lives and for them to be treated, especially here in California, uh, as bad as they're treated. And just you know, like I said, I work in the industry and I just see so much wrong um, so many things that should not be happening and uh, it just pisses me off first of all and it just hurts my heart you know the elderly children those who need it the most have to fight for what others don't ever have to fight for and those who have put their lives on the line and suffered for those of us to have the freedoms and the comforts that we have it's just it's disgusting and it's shameful that like our veterans um, to go through what they go through so 
I'll just leave it at that because that is, I can go on a whole rant about that. But for this month, for the month of October, it is a huge month for various prevention and awareness. So please, I ask you from me, from my heart, to your heart, to please, please, please make yourself, uh, educate yourself, make yourself aware of some of those things. Um, if you know anybody that is going through a depression, a hard time, that has been bullied or even, or being bullied, um, going through cancer or disabilities, um, any emotional wellness, uh, gay lesbians, the depression is a huge one, Down syndrome, um, please uh, do what you can to help. Even if it's just to be kind to them. Kindness doesn't cost you anything, but it can be a priceless few moments out of your life that changes someone else's life. So please, please be kind, be compassionate, be giving. Um, let's, let's do away with the judgment. And also, um, let's do our best, and I'm working on this myself, is to be more forgiving especially to those who are undeserving of the forgiveness, those who don't give a crap whether you forgive them or not, those who have done you so wrong, caused so much pain, and maybe that pain was, maybe it happened a long time ago, maybe it happened several years ago, and it still is burns inside of you. You know, we have to learn to forgive the people who are malicious in their intent to hurt us, and anybody who knows what they're doing to you and they do it anyway, that's intentional, okay? And I don't give a damn. I don't give a shit if they say, oh, I love you, I care about you. No, they don't. Or they're just being selfish and they have no true concept of what real love is. And I'm not just talking about in a relationship. Friendships, coworkers, family. You don't ever intentionally hurt somebody that you even just care about. You don't intentionally cause someone else harm, period, if you have any self-respect. And then continue to do it over and over. All right? So... Having said that, I understand how hard it is sometimes to forgive. But the forgiveness is not for them, it is for you, okay? And I'll share a secret with you, I am going through that myself. Um, something that's recently happened in my life that has just blew my world apart, um, a huge betrayal. So the forgiveness, I'm not quite there yet, but I'm working on it. And for all of my spiritual <clears throat> people that are out there, as far as I'm concerned, you are all my spiritual brothers and sisters but I know that not all of my followers are have a strong faith or even faith at all <clears throat> they may not be very spiritual I don't care whether you go to church or not that's not the point it's your personal relationship with God and or the universe okay I am a spiritual woman and I work on it all the time I'm not perfect sometimes I have to work at it harder than others on some days um, so I have to work on the forgiveness and the forgiveness not only for these other people who have wronged you in whatever way, but also forgiveness for ourselves. And I'm, another sharing with you is, you know, I'm dealing with that as well myself. Some of the things that I've gone through, <clears throat> decisions that I've made, and in hindsight, I'm like, why? Why did I make that choice? You know, why did I do that? Especially if somewhere in your mind there was a red flag or an alarm going off, but we chose to ignore it because we were so in our feelings. And I'm a very emotional, I, I feel things very, very strongly. Whatever it is, positive or negative, I feel it 100%. There is nothing halfway about me. This is why I say all the time, I'm not fake, and I can't stand fake. I can't stand lying. I can't stand to be lied about. I can't stand to be lied to. I'll be upfront and honest with you. You are literally, what you see on this video and how I am, my silliness, my quirkiness, my facial expressions, my dramatics, you know, just, just me. This is me, y'all, okay? This is me. What you see is what you get, like it or not, right? I prefer for you to like it. If you don't, all right, well, that's your business, not mine. My life goes on. And, you know, it's hard to do that sometimes because there are people that we care about. There's people that I care about. And I care about what they think to an extent. So, and there's nothing wrong with that so long as you don't allow it to control you. So, <clears throat> having said that, you know, I know it can be really hard to forgive ourselves as well for choices that we made, especially when they don't just affect us, especially when it affects those closest to us, those that we love. For me, it would be my children. Um, you know, anything that I've done, made a bad decision on, and it's affected my children, I still, to this day, there are some things that I am still fighting to forgive myself for. So if there's anybody out there who needs to forgive themselves for something, it's never too late to do it, to work at it, and um, I encourage you, please, please to do so. Because the forgiveness to others and forgiveness of ourselves releases us and frees us. 
um, to all that negative energy, the blockers within ourselves, all that is gone and you leave yourself open to receiving the positive energy that constantly flows around us, to receiving love, to just loving ourselves. And that's the most important thing. So in a lot of these people who are being bullied, and there goes the dog. <laughs> if it's not the toddler, it's the dog. Oh my gosh. Good thing I don't have a bird, huh? Maybe I should just get fish next time because they don't make any noise. They just bloop, 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 bloop. That's it. So the bullying, um, the depression, those with Down syndrome, ADHD, the gay lesbian, those who are dealing with emotional um, wellness, um, various different learning disabilities. You know, people are really cool and can be very cruel and hateful, um, prejudiced and judgmental to all these different people that are going through this. So um, please, if you have ever been that type of person, I encourage you to stop um, and to change because you never know something can happen in your life where you all of a sudden now are dealing with a disability or a condition or someone that you love, suddenly it happens to. So, you know, it's so easy for people to say, well, what? that doesn't affect me. It's not happening in my life. What do I care? But it easily could. And just because it's not, that doesn't give you the right to be hateful and mean and ugly and cruel to someone else. Okay? And I just cannot stand to see cruelty. I, I can't stand it. So, um, anyway, like I said, I, I know I've kind of gone off a little bit. So let me just, whoop, let me bring it back, back into the middle and i'll leave some information down below but we are in the last 90 days of 2017 and i don't know for y'all but for me 2017 has been one hell of a year it has been a huge year in changes for me huge changes um a lot of personal growth especially a lot of personal spiritual growth as well deepening in my faith i am strong in my faith already but the more challenges that we go through it only strengthens and deepens our faith um and i truly believe that the bad things that we go through um even the choices that we make you know the lessons learned for anything that doesn't go right and you use those as stepping stones to elevate yourself to better yourself and the rest of it let it go easier said than done i know because uh, i'm working on some of that myself right so i will never ever pretend to be anything other than just being real with you I share a lot of things because, and I haven't even, even begun to share everything that I intend to share, but because I know that there are people out there that are going through what I'm going through now, have gone through what I've gone through, and I have some virtual mentors, um, as well as some personal mentors of mine, and um, <clears throat> for yourself, if you're needing any help, um, maybe you don't want to talk to someone personally, I always like to personally invite anybody to contact me if you need somebody to talk to if you need some guidance um, I'm more than happy and I, I don't have to know you okay I just I love people in general and I hate to see um, people hurting so if something I can do can help someone even if it's just to listen I am more than happy to do so and I mean that sincerely so I will also leave my contact information also, I want to send an invite out to anyone who has overcome and dealt with <clears throat> cancer. And it doesn't just have to be breast cancer, even though this is October, any cancer, anything major in your life. If you have a story and you want to share it, I also have started doing some podcasts. But um, I would love to interview anyone who's willing to uh, be interviewed and tell your story, share your story. Uh, if it's just the name, if you don't want your real name and uh, we can use it fictitious name if you'd like but you want to get your story out there contact me and, oh, my grand, oh my god she just oh my god she did like some wwf like sumo whatever on me just now oh my gosh i almost went flying you can hear her, right she thinks it's funny okay stop stop grandma's wait wait let grandma finish so for those oh gosh so for those of you those of you who have a story that you want to share and um i would be honored and grateful to uh, have the um, opportunity to speak with you. Direct message me, email me, I'll leave my message below. You, um, you can also contact me on my Facebook page and I'll put all that information there. And if you are interested in doing that, I would truly love to share your story. So uh, again, thank you so much for coming back and visiting me at Rocky's Place. Please like and share this video uh, sharing the love 
is always appreciated and the more people I can touch in this world, um, the better. That's my purpose, that's my intent, and that's what I'm doing. Leave your comments below and I shall talk to you the next time. Be blessed, be kind, be happy, and please, 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 let's just be a little nicer, a little more patient, a little more kindness and compassion to people, okay? Thank you so much and I'll talk to you soon.